Calendly tutorial how to use Calendly for appointments. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can use Calendly to book your appointments. So, having said that, let's just jump into the video. Now, if you don't know what Calendly is, Calendly is a scheduling application that is used to automate all of your calendar basically. So, having said that, let's get started. Now, you can go ahead and sign up with a free account using Google or Microsoft. It depends on you. Sign up process is very simple. You just simply click on either one of them and you are good to go. And once you click on the email and you're good to go, you've signed up, it's going to ask you to go ahead and configure URL. So your URL is going to be calendly.com slash whatever you put right here. And your time zone is going to be right here. And then you can just quickly go ahead and click on continue. If you want to set it up later, you can set it up later by clicking on this button. And I'll show you how you can do that when we get there. So for now, I'll just simply put over here work 86 and then we'll just simply click on continue. And once we've done that over here, as you can see, how Calendly will work with your email address, right? We'll check out the email address for conflicts and then we'll add events to the email address using this account. Then we can just simply click on continue. It's very simple. You don't have to manually do everything, but you can. And over here, set up your availability. So my availability is Monday to Friday, but I'm usually available within the afternoons so i'll just put 5 p.m to 1 a.m there we go to me that's my availability and then we'll just simply click on continue and then what is the day-to-day -day role at work what is my data well for me it's basically consulting and a little bit of managing but yeah nothing too much we'll go ahead and yeah we'll just go with freelancer and consultant click on finished and then we are good to go now over here this is going to be your dashboard over here this is basically you know where you can say you have 14 days left you can invite your teammates blah 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 but we'll get rid of that this is the main part over here you can go ahead and start creating your meetings so over here you have scheduled events over here you will have workflows all right you can use workflows right here so email reminder to invitee email reminder to host you can create these workflows as well and you have routing as well where you can route these things so, so basically how you would use uh let's say zapier right to reroute them so you get an email you could go ahead and go with salesforce sales team and company you can reroute your stuff it's very nice and very sweet so now the main thing that you're going to be using a calendly for is going to be you know scheduling your meetings or events so what we'll do is we'll click on create new event type so let's go ahead and create it click on create new and over here you can choose what it wants to be so one-on-one -on -one or group or collective or round robin depends on you we'll go ahead and select one-on-one -on -one. you can even go with a one-off meeting or meeting poll it depends on you but we'll choose one-on-one -on -one. Now over here is going to be the event type. So we'll just add in meeting with Alex. And over here you can add in a location. So what kind of meeting would it be? So you can ask the invitee, go to meeting, WebEx or Zoom. Or you can go ahead and meet with in person. We'll just select Zoom for now. And Zoom is not connected. So we'll have to go ahead and click on this blue icon, which is going to help us integrate a Zoom with Calendly. So let's go ahead and open it up in another tab like so and over here we just simply click on connect zoom we sign into the zoom account using our credentials or continuing with google or apple or sos it depends on you and there we go so now we just have to click on allow this application give it permissions check it out and click on allow and we are now and now calendly is integrated with zoom so now we just have to go to go types and we are good to go so now if we come over here and reload it because we haven't really created it so now we'll go ahead and reload it and now we'll just say and then we add in the location we'll select zoom now it is gone and now we just add our description so we can set a description like this and then this is going to be the event link as you can see calendly.com slash work 86 slash meeting with alex and you can choose any of these colors you want for the event then we'll just simply click on next and now over here we get to the scheduling part all right let me just close that up now over here when will people book this event 
30 minutes and 60 rolling calendar days right over here invitees can schedule it within a date range or indefinitely into the future or you can just go ahead and select this if you want to but in my opinion we'll just go with within a date range so let's say so today is may 8th right so we'll just say that this meeting is going to be held at tomorrow at 9 to 10 that's it that is the only date well this meeting will be available we'll click on that and then duration of it can be up to 60 it can be up to whatever you want let's go ahead and go with almost 80 minutes and then use an existing schedule or set a custom hours it depends on you all right so over here we already have working hours so we'll go ahead and set a custom hour and we can set it right here so it depends on you usually you know hours you'll have to add it yourself so i don't really need to show you this part you just simply select the dates and date you want for this event to be available at and you choose the time zone you choose the time right here and you can delete them as well so since it is today is monday so we'll just leave tuesday and we'll delete everything else there we go from we can even select the time so it's going to be between 10 p.m to 12 a.m that is the time frame of the meeting and then we just simply select want to add time before and after meetings you can go ahead and do that if you want to it depends on you and then we just simply select next and now we have this event right here and now we can add additional options as well such as invitee questions workflows notifications configuration page and payment collection if you want to add that if not you can leave it as it is and you can just quickly go ahead and share this event by copying this link or you can add it to the email address or add it to a website it depends on you very simple very easy to do so now you can also go back to home and you will see your meeting right here so as you can see very simple very easy to use now i did mention that i would show you how you could add your configurations later on so if you skipped all of the configurations in the beginning what you can do is you can just simply go into the account settings right here and over here you can add all of that stuff you can add the branding right here my links you can add your phone numbers you can add your logins and cookies settings over here as well there's also calendar connections as well and admin management as well and over here you can go ahead and start building your organization you can add different people over here you can add groups manage events and activity logs as well and in the calendar connection you can connect your calendar you can connect up to six calendars so right now we only have google calendar but if you wanted to add another calendar just simply click on add calendar and just simply choose the calendar you want it can either be office 365 outlook plugin or icloud calendar it depends on you and i'm not sure if i showed you this but if you go into the account setting you can change your link right here so it depends on you you can see the link right here and you can change it it's very simple so pretty simple this is how you use calendly and you can use calendly to create events and schedule them as well as you can see right here and if i wanted to let's say share this event all i gotta do is click on share copy the link or make link single use it depends on you and we can add it to an email address we'll just select this one right here we'll select the time 10 p.m and click on continue and over here we can copy time to clipboard and now we have copied this little image right and now all we have to do is just email this to the person we are trying to meet or other people in the meeting so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye